So this video is brought to you by a series of mistakes I made today. Now, last night I forgot to plug my, I, uh, my OnePlus 8 Pro into charge. Now, I'm a person who plugs in the phone at night every night. I haven't, I very rarely forget to plug my phone and charge at night. And unfortunately last night, I just forgot. And I woke up this morning and I saw it and I realized, oh man, I, I forgot to charge it. I was, I was a little bit annoyed. And then I thought to myself, wait, this is a perfect opportunity for me to test the one 1% to 100% charging speed of this phone. I, I always you know charge it overnight and I'm so tired at night, I don't wanna sit there and watch the phone getting charged up. So I really didn't do it up until this point, but I've had the phone for a few weeks and this was like the perfect excuse for me to do this. So this morning what I did was I didn't plug it into charge when I woke up, I just left it and I started to use it as much as I can so I could get the battery down to 1%. Got down to 1%, all good started charging up and you know documenting everything getting the percentages down at what time and then i realized about 20 minutes into that test i had made another mistake and that was i had optimized charging turned on now let me explain what this optimized charging is and why it was an issue so optimized charging is a solution to a problem that smartphone manufacturers created for themselves batteries are very delicate Batteries don't like it when they're fast charged consistently, when you don't take care of them, when you, when you charge them up to 100 and drain them down to zero, when you don't take care of them. Batteries degrade quickly and once they degrade, there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And you know, one of the easiest ways to degrade the health of your battery is to fast charge it, especially when you do it on a regular basis. Uh, OnePlus gives you a 30 watt charger out of the box and that is not good for a battery's health long term. So a year, it might be fine. After a year, a year and a half, two years, you're gonna start noticing that this battery is degrading significantly quicker than if you would have slow charged. And I have noticed this myself, I have done tests myself, and this is definitely, it, it, it takes a big toll on your battery when you fast charge. So optimized charging is that solution. So what it does is it learns how you use your phone, how you charge your phone, and based on that, it will adjust the charging speeds. It will slow down charging, or in some cases with you know how Apple does it is, they charge up to a certain percentage, and then they wait until they know that you're gonna take the phone off the charger and then finish up the rest of the charge. So, you know, there's a bunch of different ways this is done, but the uh, idea, the common goal with every one of them is to protect and help your battery's health. Your battery health is important because once it's gone, there's nothing you can do to bring it back. The only way you can do it is put a brand new battery in. And unfortunately, nowadays, it's just impossible to get, you know, a, a new battery like it put into your phone. It's, it's a multi-step process. Uh, you need to, you know, pay big money for it. It's not just something you can do yourself. Most people don't have the expertise to do it. And I've noticed by the time that these batteries degrade, most people just give up and they're like, I'm just gonna buy a new phone. I've seen it happen many times, you know? And you, this usually happens when the phone's about a year, year and a half or two years old. People are like, you know, I've used this phone so long, I'm just gonna get a new one. And that's wasteful too, when we think about it, because everything else about the phone is good, but the battery's degraded. So that rant over, let me tell you why optimized charging was an issue for me. I was testing the speed of the charging. So 1% to 100%, I was testing this charging to see how fast it gets done because OnePlus makes some ridiculous claims about it. You know, the, every marketing company, uh, every marketing team now is making a ridiculous charging speed claim. So I was just like, let's see if it actually matches up. So 20 minutes in, I realized, oh crap, I didn't turn this off. So my results are not gonna be right because it will most definitely not charge at full capacity to save my battery health. Now, at this point I realized, this is also a perfect way for me to actually show you guys and explain to you the difference between optimized and full speed fast charging. Now full speed fast charging is, um, you know, again, that's not, that's also handled smartly by the phone itself. It won't just charge the full wattage of the entire time. It usually, the full speed of that charging is only done in the first couple of minutes when you plug it in. And as the battery gets more and more charged up, the, the slow, the speed of the charging gets reduced smartly by the phone itself. So what I did was I was like, you know what? No problem. Let me, drain the battery again to 1%, let me charge it back up one to 100, and this time without that optimized charging feature turned on so I can compare the both. And after doing that, I found some really interesting results. So first off, before I do anything, let's just put up the actual time difference. So the fast charging, as you guys can see, the bar on the red, the red bar on top 
is the one that has optimized charging turned off. That was 83 minutes compared to the 104 minutes that optimized charging uh, took. So, you know, same charger, same phone, same uh, situation the, both times, and you got a 21 minute difference between charging zero to 100. Now, um, my phone actually, it wasn't really a, uh, I don't charge at this time. So I really don't think that there was too much of optimization going on here. It was just charging, but at a reduced speed. So that's the difference here. Now, let me put up the graph of the two um, charging speeds side by side. And you guys will see, you know, you think 21 minutes is not a big deal and actually not, it's really not in the grand scheme of things. But the more important thing here is that the curve of charging, you guys will see, this is where some interesting things come out. So the curve here shows you guys that, um, oh, by the way, let me just quickly say the red one is the, the one full power. So without optimized charging and the green one is the one with optimized charging. So right off the bat, what you'll notice is that of course, optimized charging is a lot faster. That's expected. But the green line, look at it. That thing is straight. It is absolutely linear. And um, it was like even the data, if you guys wanna see the actual percentage data, I have the Google Docs to both down in the uh, description if you guys wanna check those out. But, uh, and I'll have these graphs as well um, linked down there. But you guys can see, literally I was checking one minute gave me 1% of charge. And it was basically the same from about, um, I think 15 or 20% all the way up to uh, 80, 90 something percent. It was basically one minute got you 1% of charge and it was so linear. And you guys can even see like right at 90, that 90% uh, point the the graph starts, you know, it has a little bit of a kink there. So that's when the charging actually tapers off. So every phone, when it gets closer to 100%, it will slow down charging. It's just the way batteries are. Um, and it's done to make sure that the battery doesn't overcharge and cause more issues. Overcharging is a big issue that nobody wants to do, trust me. Now, let's look at this uh, full graph, the full speed charging. And you guys can see when they start off, the, the full speed is actually just a, just a hair bit slower uh, in the first 10 minutes. But after that, it really, really picked up speed. And at the one hour mark, there's almost a 21% difference between the two charges. So that's a really impressive thing. Um, you know, if you only have a limited time to charge your phone, having optimized charging on is not your best idea, but it's a very interesting curve here because you guys can see um, with a uh, full power, it's not linear at all. It's all over the place. There's a little bit of a high, a low, you know, it's just, um, if you look closely at the graph, it's not anything close to that uh, optimized charging's linearity. Now, that's why you guys will see that optimized charging is good for your phone because what it's doing is it's giving a consistent level of charge throughout the entire charging period and that is good for the battery. Now, um, you know, it's super interesting for me to see just the differences between these two and um, it's, it's, what do you guys think about this, right? Do you guys, did you even know that this feature was actually on your phone? Most new smartphones have this. And in fact, it's turned on by default on the OnePlus 8 Pro. I didn't turn this on. It was turned on by default and I never really paid too much attention to it until today. So a very interesting thing. I'm going to be keeping optimized charging on. I only plug, you know, charge my phone overnight. So I really don't care about fast charging at all. I, in fact, use a 10 watt wireless charger. I don't care about the charging speed at all. Uh, battery health is far more important to me and I think it should be for everyone else too. That's it for this one guys. Let me know what you guys think. Have, have you guys actually ever noticed a difference? Have you ever seen that when you charge at a certain time, your phone is a little bit slower versus some other times where it's a little bit faster? Uh, crazy to me. I'm, I'm sure that people might've noticed this, but uh, that's going to be it for this one guys. If you haven't already, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel. A lot more content on the OnePlus 8 Pro coming up. And if you haven't already, check out my social media. I'll have all the links right down here. And go ahead and check out my website as well. I, I make a written blog over there. So if you guys wanna you know, look at some other topics that I talk in a little bit more detail on the website, go check out my blog over there. And of course, I have to say, all the description, like all the graph, the charts, the, um, the data that I have, I have those linked down in the description below. So if you guys wanna check those out for yourself, uh, how about it? The links are going to be in the description. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.